Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. Hope everybody's having a great start to their weekend out there. And we have some big weather to talk about over the next seven to 10 days as a major storm system traverses the country from west to east, bringing heavy snow on the cold side, but a multi-day severe weather outbreak on the warm side. And we also have more big winter storms ahead as we go deeper into February. We'll be breaking it down for you right here on this channel in today's weather forecast. Let's take you outside and look at those low temperatures this morning and you can see clearly there is a cold front across the middle of the country ahead of the cold front temperatures this morning well into the 50s if not the 60s from the lower Ohio River Valley down through the Tennessee Valley and the deep south this morning behind the cold front temperatures are below freezing up here into the upper Midwest, the northern and central plains and back into the Rockies with temperatures in the teens and the 20s out there across the west and looking at those temperature anomalies this morning ahead of the front temperature anomalies 20 degrees above normal behind the front we're still above normal up here into the upper midwest the northern and the central plains but just by a handful of degrees and then we're below normal further off to the west here into the pacific northwest we're a good 5 to 15 degrees below normal here with our temperatures this morning and as we go into the afternoon noon areas again ahead of the front will be much warmer with temperatures surging into the 60s 70s out here and possibly even some record high temperatures being broken across the I-95 corridor into the northeast and down into the mid-Atlantic and even into the Ohio Valley as we go into the afternoon. If you like detailed weather breakdowns across North America with accurate weather forecasts make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and we will keep you covered right here on this channel and I would love to hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel by spring and you can help me get there simply by subscribing to the channel down below and also make sure to press the like button down below it helps out more than you know so let's look at our current weather conditions as you step out the door this morning there's that cold front sparking some showers and a few rumbles of thunder out there from the lower Ohio River Valley down through middle and western Tennessee and getting down across the southern plains here into north Texas and central Texas this morning. None of these storms are expected to be severe this morning, but as we go through the day, look at the very energetic jet stream here. This is very typical of what you do see in a true El Nino pattern. You have a very dominant southern branch of the jet stream and that's exactly what we see going through today and really this weekend so looking at this this is the 500 millibar vorticity signature and what this shows the brighter the color the more lift and the more spin there is in the atmosphere and you can pick out that low pressure down here into the four corners region that's going to be pushing east into west texas as we go through today and then as we go into sunday look at all that spin all that lift moving into texas hill country and the southern plains that will be sparking our severe weather threat this weekend so looking at this a little bit further here in detail here are your dew point temperatures for this afternoon and typically what you need for severe weather is 50 55 degree Fahrenheit dew points or higher and you do see dew points well into the 50s up here as far north as the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Shreveport, and well into the 60s further south into coastal Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi today. And even going into Sunday, a lot of those 50, 60 degree dew points will be down here across the Gulf Coast states and into the southeast this weekend. And looking at our severe weather threat today, we do have a marginal and even a slight risk of severe weather here in the green and yellow shaded areas areas respectively with the highest area of potential severe weather across the San Angelo region down into San Antonio and just west of the Houston Metroplex and this could include the threat for a couple of isolated tornadoes and some significant two inch or larger hail especially in this yellow shaded color today then as we go into Sunday this shifts across southeast Texas including the Houston Metroplex getting into much of Louisiana southern portions of Mississippi and south 
southwestern Alabama as we go into Sunday. And this could be a little bit higher of a potential for some tornadoes as we go into that Sunday time frame, especially there for Louisiana and into Mississippi. So let's look here at today first. You can see a couple of thunderstorms going through this afternoon. These will be widely scattered. So not everybody will see severe weather across south central Texas, but just be on the lookout for some big time storms as we go into this afternoon. Going into tonight, that first round that's moving out of Texas will move into Louisiana and western Mississippi on a weakening trend, prob probably still seeing some isolated severe weather and some larger hail with this. We'll keep an eye on that, but we'll see redevelopment of some severe weather further west into west central Texas here toward the San Angelo region and down into San Antonio. These storms would be the ones to be capable of producing damaging wind gusts to 60 miles per hour, some of those two inch or larger hailstones and also a couple of tornadoes across this region. This will be after dark. And then as we go into your Sunday time frame, notice a widely scattered severe thunderstorms from Louisiana through Mississippi into western and southwestern Alabama going through your Sunday time frame. And looking at this further into Monday, so look at all of the energy pushing further east into the southeast, the Tennessee Valley on Monday. And that means another day with severe weather across the southeast this time favoring southeastern Alabama, North Florida, Georgia, and into South Carolina here. And this could include the Atlanta metro area, Montgomery, Tallahassee, and then over here into Jacksonville as we go into Monday. And you can see Monday morning, ongoing strong to severe storms as you head out the door for the start of the new work week, having to be watching out for some strong to severe storms then. And then as we go through the afternoon, widely scattered severe weather across the southeast, We'll have to watch each and every one of these storms, but by the time we get into Monday night, we start to shut off the severe weather threat and the thunderstorm threat in general as this moves further east into the eastern Carolinas and then eventually off into the western Atlantic Basin. This system will not only be producing severe weather, but very heavy rainfall. Look at the rainfall amounts down here across the southeast and getting into the deep south, a narrow band of some very heavy rain here from middle and eastern Tennessee through northern Alabama, northern Mississippi, southeastern Arkansas, down into to northern Louisiana and far east Texas, that narrow band, there could be a few areas picking up almost a six inches worth of rain going through your Tuesday, February 13th time frame. And with all the rain coming in a short amount of time, today into your Sunday time frame, there is a marginal to slight risk for flash flooding here from the Tennessee Valley down into the lower Mississippi Valley here. And then as we go from Sunday into Monday, this favors Dixie Alley and the Southeast, especially over here into North Georgia, Western Carolinas and Eastern Tennessee. And then Monday into Tuesday, this is more of a Carolina and Southern Virginia flash flood threat as we start the work week off next week. On the cold side, we are keeping an eye on a snowstorm and a big snowstorm for some of us as we go into early next week. So you can see all the cold air moving south. You can see that blue line shifting into Kansas, western Oklahoma, and the northern Texas panhandle through the day. You can have snowfall here on the front range into eastern Colorado, down into northern New Mexico. As we go into Sunday, very heavy, very wet snow across the Amarillo area into the panhandle of Texas, moving into southwestern Oklahoma. Very sloppy conditions out there on Sunday. As we go into Monday, the footprint of snow may become a little smaller as we have some warmer air trying to move further north there, but we could see some wet snowflakes across southern, maybe central Missouri. This could include the St. Louis region and perhaps the Springfield, Missouri area on Monday. Then as we go from Monday night into Tuesday, this will shift across the lower Ohio River Valley and especially up here into the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. And looking at this further, here are your temperature profiles starting off on your Tuesday morning. And notice we're not too far below freezing. So a lot of the snowfall that will be falling will be the wet snow, the very heavy 10 to one ratio snow. And this will include the I-95 corridor on Tuesday morning. We will begin to warm up Tuesday afternoon. So this could be more of a rain snow mix for the immediate coastline areas, but a very heavy, very wet 
wet snow for not too far inland here. And I think New York City sees mostly snow with this system as we go through Tuesday. And you can see Tuesday morning, it's snowing hard in the New York City area, northern New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania there, and up into portions there of that I-95 corridor. Your Tuesday morning commute will be impacted by some heavy wet snow, possibly one to two inch per hour snow rates. Then as we go into Tuesday afternoon, the heaviest snow will shift up here into Cape Cod and Boston, into Rhode Island here, into portions of eastern Long Island. Very heavy snow up here as we go into Tuesday afternoon. And looking at the snowfall amounts, we're getting closer. We're going to show you some early estimates here. But a narrow swath of some snow from the southern plains, including the Texas Panhandle near Amarillo, all the way through Oklahoma, southern Missouri and northwest Arkansas, through southern Illinois, southern Indiana, getting into northern Kentucky, into portions of southern Ohio, and through portions of Pennsylvania, and then up the I-95 corridor towards Boston through your Tuesday. And zooming it in, showing you the early estimates here, this could change a little bit as it's still a few days away. But notice, you can see... There is a decent footprint of around four to eight inches worth of snow here across portions of the Texas Panhandle and then moving across Oklahoma an inch or two there, an inch or two of snow into southern Missouri, an inch or two of snow into southern Illinois, and then moving up there into the Ohio Valley, the Mid-Atlantic in the northeast of New England. You can see portions of the Ohio Valley around the Louisville region up towards Cincinnati. We could be seeing a few inches of snow on the order of about two to five inches up into southeastern Ohio. Ohio into western Pennsylvania. We're talking about portions there of the Pittsburgh region. Could be seeing half a foot of snow up around six, seven, eight inches. And then through Pennsylvania there, we could be talking about five, six, seven inches of snow there. And then New York City, we could see a bullseye of around a foot of snow. Yes, for New York City with this storm up through Hartford, we could see eight to 12 inches and about a five to eight inch snow for Boston as we go through that Tuesday time frame. So yes, New York City will see some snow and some heavy snow snow with this system. Now going into the middle of the month, this is from your Valentine's Day time frame through around the 21st of February. That's getting into the third week of the month. This is a good look. If you are a winter weather lover and you're a snow lover out there, you have the low pressure further south. The blocking is over the top here in southern Canada. So the low pressure has to go underneath and this will bring colder temperatures. Okay. So you can see southern Canada and much of the lower 48, really outside of the upper Midwest, will be below normal primarily into the third week of the month. And notice the subtropical jet, that southern branch is going to be very dominant again into that third week or so of February. So heavy rains, heavy snows out west, and then that will move across the Gulf Coast up into the southeast and up the east coast. And you can see this with this pattern to the northwest side of those low pressure systems, we will see some heavier snow. And this will start out west into the Rockies. The Sierra is getting crushed again by some very heavy snow, likely feet of snow during this time frame. A few inches of snow will be possible. This is an average of uh, several ensembles, about 51 members. But you can see up here into the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, parts of the Ohio Valley, and interior New England, we'll see that storm track and that snowfall first. And then as we go into that last week of February, the 21st through the 28th, even 29th time frame, you can see primarily we have the blocking up by Greenland into northeastern Canada with the high pressure, forcing low pressure further south. You can see primarily below normal outside, again, of the upper Midwest, below normal temperatures and possibly significantly below normal out west here in the western third of the country. And here we go again, the southern branch of the jet stream, very energized, very active and dominant. And you can see more heavy rain out west and through the Rockies with heavy snow. And then you can see some very heavy precipitation across the southeast and the eastern U.S. in general, very active late February. And that snow line will be able to creep further south with that colder air. And we're laying the foundation for more snow across the Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and this time again, the I-95 corridor, interior New England, starting to see more snow later into February. We'll keep you covered here on this channel with accurate weather forecasts. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below, especially if you love detailed weather breakdowns on this channel. Make sure to press the like button down below. It helps out more than you know. Share this video with friends, family, and on social media, and I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Saturday out there.